to another episode of the You Only Live Once Life and Business Innovation Style Meditations, Yummy Conversations. I'm Honey, and I'm here today to bring to you another yummy meditation so that you can live yummy in your body and yummy in your life. In the last video of this series, we talked about how to deal with troublesome situations, tough situations, and healing yourself from that situation so that you can return back to the yummy flow because we know that when you are in your yummy flow, everything amazing happens. So when you're starting to realize one negative thing show up in your life and another negative thing show up in, showing up in your life and another and another and another follows, you realize that maybe, maybe, maybe this is the beginning or the middle or maybe even the the full on um, downward spiral that you're experiencing. So when you are experiencing download spirals or you are experiencing negativity, which happens all the time, then go back to that video and check it out. And then this video is all about the meditation to heal and to return back to center for that. Today we have a drum with us, a shamanic drum, beautiful, beautiful drum that I made at the Garden Gathering in Hong Kong with uh, a bunch of my sisters and for healing and transformation purposes with um with native american drum our drum ceremonies and um and and ancient songs that we we kind of pass down from one tribe to another to um to now song keepers so very 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 grateful to have this drum with us to help us and support us during this healing journey and then i have here my sister who is here in paris and so kindly even in her very tired state supporting me on this video and us to heal so we're gonna hear some rattles that are all the way from healing journeys in peru um Amazon and uh, these are ones that I've used in ceremonies as well um, with uh, lots of sacred prayers so whenever you're ready sit in your cloth legged position legs crossed like this like that and whenever you're ready put your hands and palms on your knees and breathe in deeply in and out And the way you want to breathe is all the way into your belly. And when you let go, let everything go in a big ah. <sighs> breathe in again. <sighs> and again. Allowing yourself to reconnect with your body. Breathing in air from right above. Imagine a golden white light from the straight above you from a cloud shining brightly. And as you breathe in, allowing every piece of that light to embrace your body and surround your body with glowing, healing, loving light. And as you exhale, allow every negativity to go back down to the earth, to Mother P Pachamama, Mother Earth. Allow that to absorb and allow that to hold and support every negative energy that's in your system in past, present, and future. Breathing into the light. And releasing. <sighs> Allowing yourself to now breathe into any part of your body that is feeling pain, shame, any part of yourself that's being triggered, any traumas that might be bringing up, whatever is ready to be let go of today. Allow yourself to breathe into those parts and allow yourself to release any tension, any anxiety, any feelings of misalignment to who you truly are breathing into those parts
allowing yourself to gather all of the things that need to be released today in your next breath breathing in and relaxing your jaw relaxing your back breathing in white light into all the areas of your body that need release And as you exhale, allow all of that to sink into the bottom of the earth into a big white root that connects to a big, big, big fire pit at the bottom of the earth. At the same time, surrounding yourself in purple and blue flames. Allowing yourself to release any negative tension, letting go of anything in your vicinity, and allowing all of that to burn away swiftly and beautifully. And allowing the flame to burn away not only the stuff in your own realm, but allow that fire to grow a thousand times larger, a thousand times stronger and increase the radius of the fire of it working a thousand times around you, and allowing that to burn the negativity and whatever is willing to be released at that point as well. Call forth all parts of you that need to be here today to support you in strengthening yourself. To hold the energy of your true self, to hold the leader in you, to hold the divine self within you. To face whatever it is that you need to be facing today, whatever healing you need emotionally, physically, practically, spiritually. Allow yourself to call forth those parts of you, that higher version of you, to come forth and merge and support you in this journey. Bow down to him or her and allow yourself to be humble. Breathe in her essence, breathe in his essence and allow this deeper, wiser, profound, majestic version of you that you always knew you had that's connected directly to your source energy to be here with you. Call her name. Call his name. Call her or him into the space to join you. Call all the support you need, not only from your higher self, but from all of the highest selves of all of the support systems that you have in your life. Call in the support from your guides, your angels, whatever you believe in, anything that you have found solace, support, and calmness from. Call them each into your realm to support you during this journey. Call in people who you love and who love you, past, present, and future have your best interests in mind and who you know is strong can support your strength call in every other entity that is benign good to the highest good that can support you to stand up chin up and face whatever it is you need to face gracefully yummily in your own essence and the strength to stay focused on your mission, focused on your truth. Allowing you to stay strong and wise and loving in everything that you do to yourself, to those around you, and call in faith, call in trust. 
breathe that in and let that infiltrate every single cell in your body, the trust. That you're not only going to be okay, but you're also going to realize at some point the significance of these moments in this exercise, in this visualization, this period of your life, these reasons for these situations to show up in your life. So that you can break the cycle and you can break the pattern and you can choose how you want to show up again and again and again. Not letting anyone else take you down, not letting yourself take you down, not letting anything take you down when you know what your integrity is and what you know. what it means to be fully healthy in your heart, in your mind, in your soul. In your life. Just breathe in that sense of health. Breathe in that sense of healing. In every out breath, allow that to spread throughout your whole body. Let go of anything else that needs to be let go of in this moment. With your next breath. Allowing yourself to come back to the present moment, thanking all the wonderful spirits or energies or intentions of support that you've brought into your circle. Allowing yourself to be appreciative and grateful to yourself for giving you this time to tune in to this deeper knowing and deeper level of support that you need to maintain your positivity and your interest, your highest self interest, <laughs> and allowing yourself to really, really stay centered because this is the most important part when you're in your healing journey and it's really, 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 really important to be able to relax and heal just like this one as she's sleeping. <laughs> Just allowing yourself to really absorb that and um, subscribe. We will do more on this topic. If you like it, hit the like below. We have 200 over videos and many more on Insight Timer on how to support you in this journey with these practices that help and support you continuously. Tune back in if you like this type of topic and meditation. 
put down below your comments and your feedback as well as I'd love to hear what you do to increase healing in yourself. All right, talk to you real soon. This is Honey and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah.